So my name is Riha and I'm the founder and designer for the sustainable fashion brand Lila Bear. My name is Karen and I'm a musician from Nairobi. My name is Bodoni Wishiri, uh, Noni. I'm a journalist, I'm a YouTuber. I'm a sister, I'm a daughter. <laughs> but yeah, I'm a journalist. Uh, my name is Sony. I'm a Kenyan American and I run a blog slash more like an Instagram called Sony Sign Up. Um, I'm Samantha Wakaimba. I am founder of Crumble & Co, Kenya's first milk and cookie bar. My name is Tanya Mwendwa. I have just launched uh, my fashion brand, which is the label Saba. And our first products are bags and luggage. And uh, my intent is to be a top African luxury brand. Oh. So my name is Valentine Joroke. I am a banker turned foodie. Um, so I run an investment company that uh, invests in food companies, in education companies, a little bit of fintech and some real estate. Um, it's called Variety Fund. So my name is Paula Rogo and I am the CEO and founder of Kali Media. And Kali is, in my opinion, a fabulous company that focuses on telling the stories of women here in East Africa. So my name is Michelle Ciro. I'm an entrepreneur, blogger, and partner student. Uh, my name is Caroline Kibati, Miss Kibati. I am a full-time digital communications and PR consultant. At the same time, I'm also a full-time content creator. My name is Celestine Perry. Um, what, what, what do I do? What am I? I'm a woman who's very passionate about technology. I'm passionate also about women embracing probably opportunities that are online and also um, forming synergies with other women. My name is Sonal Haria and I'm the co-founder of Canvas Media, which is a marketing agency, and Canvas Cosmetics, which is a makeup brand. Um, my name is Quito Dongo. I'm the a founder of Certified Sports Management Agency. My name is Bidani Barasa. I'm a passionate, enthusiastic, God-fearing, badass chick that beat cancer 10 years ago. My name is Sianto Mali Sikawa. Um, I think my name puts uh, who I am into perspective um, because I'd like to define myself not by what I do but for something that wouldn't change regardless of whatever happens in my life and that includes my love for humanity. My full name actually is Natalia Zahra Polish Chok Mohammed. Um, I didn't choose any of them but I embraced them. Um, so I have been a headhunter for the last 15 years and I would say that I have interviewed over 18,000 people, hired and placed just under 2,000 people across 70 countries. So when it comes to recruitment and talent management, I, be, I believe I'm it. I am Taka Odera. Um, I'm a health and wellness enthusiast. Um, I, I'll, I'll stick to, to the professional side because personal size can take, can take quite a bit of time. I'm a health and wellness enthusiast and I started this initiative called Self Care 101 in Nairobi. And basically what we talk about is self care and how we can look after ourselves in this sort of practical, busy world and how we can actually live a satisfied and fulfilling life and what that looks like to each and every individual. The first word I thought about when I think about future females is opportunity. And I think there's so much that can be done in way of empowering females um, to, to go for what they want. Um, and this doesn't even just spread into like professional life, but also personal life. Because I think when you're empowered in one element of your life, you can be empowered in everything. And um, by starting this initiative, where we are telling women, hey, it's okay to do whatever you want to do, you're essentially letting that spread into almost all the like, facets of society. So I think that just Future Females is providing an opportunity for people to succeed, really, and to feel supported. Um, what came to mind was empowerment, a world where you can be a badass mom and a CEO at the same time without people being shocked that you're both. Um, yeah. Two things come to mind, empowerment and diversity. Diversity because women are so diverse in everything in our day-to-day -day roles. We're sisters, we're wives, 
where mothers, uh, we're employees, business owners, and not just our backgrounds, but just our day-to-day -day roles and what it takes to be so resilient in this day and age. Um, empowerment because I totally believe in uplifting women. For instance, when I outsource my work, I'd like to think that if I left this earth today, I would be impacting one life, and that one life means I'm impacting an entire generation. How she's gonna raise her kids, how she's gonna work around money, everything that she's gonna do moving forward is, is, is a change, and I'd be glad to do just that one thing. All right, future female. So I think of the future, of course, and women in the future. And when I'm forced to think about the future, I have to think about the past as well and what that through line looks like from past, present me, and women in the future. And so for me, when I think about future females, I think about all those women who are gonna break boundaries and break glass ceilings and break all the ground, all the ceilings that are out there. And imagining all the things that we haven't achieved yet here in East Africa. So like, can you imagine like the first Kenyan woman president? I don't know if I'm gonna see her, I don't know if I'll be alive, but just imagining how awesome and how inspiring and how cool that would be gets me excited and then gets me thinking about what can I do today to make sure it's easy or it happens for whoever she is or whoever they are in the future and try to do really great things.